In, in nature, a wave is this kind of complex, violent event. And our capacity to develop an ego strong enough to be able to manage uh, dealing with these emotions is the single most important thing that we can do. map didn't fit the terrain anymore. No wonder one experiences discrepancy, confusion, cognitive dissonance. It's not about intelligence. And in the face of those circumstances, again, what the ego tends to do is reinforce itself. What you call the regressive restoration of the persona. Wait a minute. You expect us to believe all this? Let's get back to where things were. Where I understood, where I was in control, where I was managing here. This is 2023 and boom, here it just took off like one of Elon Musk's rockets. A capacity to tolerate anxieties that arise from ambiguity, ambivalence, and change. And change tends to produce anxiety. Ambivalence produces anxiety. Ambiguity produces anxiety. These are the triple A's that uh, we have to deal with continuously. Anxiety, ambiguity, and ambivalence. So anxiety is an emotion that doesn't need fixing. It's not broken. So type the E61 is the word that is open. How much can you, you know, how much can you put up with of this just this one thing? rising at an increasing rate. Novocherkask was destroyed. It may well be something's so wrong. You know that this has changed everything. Technology has outdone nature and the consequences are going to be with us forever. I, I want this problem to go away. You know, we have a short attention span and, and very little patience. But you're right, it's an invitation to say, so what's going on here? Earth is a dead world now. That inequality can be seen in people's access to life's most basic necessity, water. How did it happen? How did the planet end up like this? Greed, stupidity, usual catalog of sins. This is no ordinary. And that's because the world is getting hotter than ever. Greenhouse gas emissions have created this blanket of CO2 around the Earth, trapping heat. The desperate...
anyway, let's look at what these articles uh, said in the past. And uh, if anything, you know, climate has accelerated greatly since they were both. What if we stop pretending the climate apocalypse is coming? So. Eco activists seizing the occasion to stage headline grabbing stunts. Oh, we don't let the white judge pleasant demeanor fool you. 